Hi friends, it's Miss Gina. It's time for Story and Crafts. And today I have a fun book to share with you. It's one that maybe you'll know. It's The Rainbow Fish, written and illustrated by Mark Pfister, published by North South Books. Let's get started. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. Do you see his sparkly scales? The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. I think I would be too. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Nobody wants to talk to him anymore. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral relief reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything at all. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Can you see the two eyes of the octopus? She's pretty hidden, right? I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Hmm. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never. How could I ever be happy without them? He doesn't look very happy right now. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, 
Please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. That means he waited. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I won't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. Do you see the rainbow fish getting ready to give the little blue fish one of his shimmery scales? It was a generous thing to do. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glittery scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Look, each one of those fish has a glittering scale too. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Look, they all are shimmery now, right? Yeah, the end. What a good story. A story about friendship and about sharing, about being kind and being generous. I love that story. And the other thing I love is making crafts. Hold on a second, let me get my craft basket. Ah, here it is and I have some crafts to share with you today. So here is the first craft that I made. So I made for myself the rainbow fish. Do you see his glittering scales? You can make one too. I'll, moms, dads, adult friends, I'll post a separate video with all of the instructions. But here's the rainbow fish. <laughs> and here is another one. This one was so much fun. I made it out of Play-Doh. And then I put some scales in it, all different colors. And in my video, I'll give you the recipe for how to make Play-Doh. I love making Play-Doh. And last but not least, I have a game. This is a game that you can use to teach literacy. So adult friends, remember, that all of my craft supplies either come from Goodwill or they come from the dollar store. So one day while I was at Goodwill, I happened to find a bag of little dice and all of the dice, that's this square thing, had letters on them. And so what I did was I made what's called a roll and cover. And so you take this little dice and you roll it and whatever letter comes up, you help your little learner find that letter. And then what I thought would be fun would be to cover that letter up with some glittering glass beads. 
and I have all different colors, of course, including silver, like the Rainbow Fishes special scales, but all different colors. And so this is a learning activity that you can do. And you may say, well, Miss Gina, I don't have those um, dice that have letters on it. Well, that's okay. You can make one with numbers. And this is one that I made with the numbers that are on just any kind of dice. One that you might find in a game, your house, um, or you can also purchase them at the dollar store. And you don't have to use these fancy little fish. I found those on the internet. You can just draw any old fish and put down the numbers one to six, have your little learner roll a dice and then cover up the numbers with some of those things. And if you don't have these, don't worry about it. You can use little pebbles. You could, seashells would sure be fun. You could use beans, whatever you have around the house to teach um, either uh, numeracy or alphabet skills. So whatever you would like. And so that's all for Story and Craft today. And I hope to see you next time. I hope you have a great day and remember to be like the rainbow fish, kind and generous and share with your friends. Bye-bye.